Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. In the last episode, we found the, uh, death spot, she was or, killed, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, and then displays powerful adoration after she's dead. Something close to love. That could well be the key to all this. I will say this, though, George. Profiling is a risky business. Of course, if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well, then everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto footprints. I'm sure we have Miss Stiletto Heels to thank for those tracks. All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence. And carefully figure the unsub's M.O. Modus operandi, his way of thinking. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. Well, episode one, chapter five, murder site. And apparently I have infinite gas and durability now, because now I get those things, instead of on the way here when I needed the gas. You know what? Dang it, I was hoping to use it as a ramp. When I first joined the force, this lumber mill was still in full swing. It closed up right when I first moved here. And now it's totally abandoned. I presume so. I've never really been inside, so I don't know for sure, but sure is run down. Deserted buildings are perfect for criminal hideouts and activities. I keep telling Harry to have the place torn down. Probably a little late for that. After all, it's already been used as the site of Anna's murder. We don't know that for sure yet, Agent Morgan. But that's right, from your point of view. But the perpetrator selected the lumber. Agent York, you seem very confident about this. Confident? No. Confidence is a sweet spot between being rude and hopeless. I'm just drawing natural conclusions from the facts that we have seen. That sounds exactly like being full of confidence, at least to me. And to normal people with common sense. Common sense can be the opposite of fact sometimes. Bear that in mind. Oh, I will, Agent York. Thank you for another pearl of wisdom. Either way, we'll know for sure by simply going to the lumber mill. So keep your pearls of wisdom to yourself, and let's hurry. Well said, George. Can you step on it, Agent York? I will say, though, the music is pretty good. So, like I was saying, last episode, we made it over to the, where they found on his body, and we did a bit of profiling and figured out that the lumber mill is the place where the uh, body was killed, or at least that's what we're assuming, based on evidence. Then again, York is kind of a genius, so it's a fair assumption to believe that he's correct in the matter. All the same, we're already almost there. So let's cut the chit-chat and step on it, just like Emily said. Alright, I forgot, I can actually go faster by holding that down. How do you... Why would people build something this way? Should mention I also don't rem really remember how to drift. Oh, that's how you do it, the right trigger. I was playing with the button right there and it did that. And we're already here, so let's speed up. I'm going in alone. You two stay here. I can't concentrate on profiling with other people around me. Now hold on a minute. We're investigating this case together. Listen, I can't risk the crime scene being compromised by you two. What are you saying? You're not the only professional law enforcement officer here, Agent Morgan. We know how to secure a crime scene. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. But this is how I operate. Furthermore... Yes? Furthermore what? To me, the outsider FBI agent, Every citizen of this town is a suspect. You two could be in on this whole thing for all I know. I have to keep suspects out of the crime scene. How can you say such a thing? It's completely fair. 
Is he making fun of us? We should have left him behind and come here by ourselves. You're right. I've never been so insulted. You've never been really Sorry, insulted, but I'm then. just doing my job. If that insulted you two, then you've never truly been insulted before. Also, I have a feeling like everything's going to go to hell soon. Did you hear that, Zack? If they are pros, then we should let every first-person shooter gamer out there join the SWAT team. Well, that's that's actually rude. Zack, they're here. I have my wrench. Don't worry. Here we go. Got another steel pipe that I should have sent to the toolbox. I didn't even realize that that was what I was picking up. Well, from the sounds of it, I killed the last one, I guess? No, there we go. He dodged. Barely. That, okay, no, it didn't drop anything. For some reason, I thought I saw the color blue, but I guess it was purple. I think I'd be better at that, considering my name. Or at least what I call myself. First aid kit small. I should probably use one of those soon. Considering the fact that I have like three or four of them and I'm at like three quarters health. Whoa, stream. Nice to see that you're back, steampunk. Also, was that the murderer ahead of me? Just as I thought, Zack. This is where Anna was killed. Time to get ready for some profiling. Of course. Yikes. That was um too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Well, incredibly interesting that you're able to get that much just by walking into the room. How? How even? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have a lot of bullets for that gun. Zack, it's almost like an altar. Was the murder some kind of ritual? Okay. It's very ritualistic. Doors locked behind me, apparently. And I'm getting a phone call. Let's check out this phone call. Where are you hiding? Hmm. 
Upside down peace sign. The reverse peace sign. We're actually dealing with the murderer here. So let's do some more profiling. Yeah, I get the idea from this point forward. I don't have any more clues after that. Um, let's get into the toolbox. Let's put some items away. Don't need the mission knife. Don't need the steel pipe. What? I guess we already have the maximum amount of steel pipes in there. Um, I don't have any 12 gauge. I don't have a 12 gauge shotgun yet. I'm not going to be using. Well, actually, no. I should keep the random things of food that I have on me. Or at least some of them. I like my coffee black just like my metal. I don't care for those. I don't need... Well, I want the bait. Because I'm going to be going fishing at some point. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, hey, a lollipop. I will not be taking that since I don't really need it. I can shave if I want to, though it doesn't really look like I have a beard or anything yet, so I could sleep here, but more importantly, the key to the engineering section. Now, the submachine gun is one above my wrench. So let's check out what I find out here. Ooh, more battling. Oh, I almost got hit. Just by normal attack and not even the big surprise one. Agent Honor 180. Steel pipe. I can pick up one more now I'm out of uh, room for steel pipes. A bar? Well, I guess I'll send that back to the thing. So it's a crowbar, pretty much. Now let's see if anything's up here before we head on to the engineering section. Agent Honor. Seriously though, this wrench is way too OP. Three OP, five me even. Wait, is that an infinite amount of? Okay, that seems they're being way too generous with items at this point in the game. I'm confused what that is. Is that supposed to be water or something? Oh, so that's why they're... Um, maybe the steel pipe? There we go. Apparently I'd hit it quite a bit.
Okay. Now that the water, if you can call it that, is drained down. Another one of those anti-peace signs. Huge upside down peace marksman drawn out on the steam engine tank. Any idea what it means, Zach? Well, apparently this is for chaos. All right. We'll say though, this is a bit silly with all the stuff they've given me. Like, I might be actually worried if it wasn't for the fact that they've given me so much stuff that I have no reason to worry. Is that a baby I hear crying? Is that a- wait, didn't I find a baby carriage at one point? I can't remember, was that this game? That I found a baby carriage? Probably not. Let's break these open. Baby, baby. A golf club? Really? A golf club? Is there another golf club in here? Okay, no, it just closes automatically. I was about to say. Sounds like I'm getting closer. Oh no. Um. Don't tell me I have to fight him. Okay, so this is probably not going to be a good thing. So, right off the bat, I'm going to use one of these. Get my health up a little bit. Another steel pipe, apparently. Uh... I cannot carry it. Where is the murderer? I want to beat the crap out of him. Oh, seems to be it seems to have gone this way. Alright, this is actually getting a little bit eerie and I like it, because the thought of a big bad old murderer is actually slightly scary. It's like worrying more than anything. My question is how he got up all this. Okay, send this crowbar back into my toolbox, so any more uh, crowbars I get, I have to carry. Probably. Seriously though, the body, since they take so long, is actually a bit disruptive to my progress. Let's peek through here. I don't see any babies. I don't see any little babus. But that does look like a spawn area for enemies. Progress is blocked down there. And spawn, enemies spawn. Gearbox, take the item. It has gears for something. Yep. 
I'm in a gauntlet room. Have to beat the crap out of you. Without this wrench, this might actually be difficult. I actually feel a little bit bad about getting this wrench. This wrench makes everything way too easy. It's 3 OP 5 me. Got nothing by doing that. Since I am curious, blow up all the barrels. Mm, I just realized that these are over here. Nothing else? No. Okay. Well, since nothing's over there, finally those vines are out of my way, so I can move on. I can flush another toilet. Do I get anything for flushing it? I get a stabilizer. Not that I'd ever want to take a stabilizer after it's been a bloody toilet. And I don't mean that in the British term, like bloody, like bloody L. I mean literally, it's been in a bloody toilet. First aid kit, medium. I'm almost full on those. I haven't really needed them thanks to the fact that I have a wrench. And even if I didn't have a wrench, I'd still have all of those freaking uh, steel pipes. Alright, flush this toilet. Got nothing for it. Didn't even play a sound effect that time. That's an odd one. Okay, I needed a flare. I'm really happy they gave me one. Always look behind you before you flush the toilet, just in case someone's going to sneak up behind you. There you go, he's dead. Well, it doesn't seem like they're spawning for some reason. Get over here. Another stabilizer so that I can just keep on running and then use an item and then start running again. Nothing in there. Some black coffee. Am I, am I tired at all? I'm a little bit tired, so let's drink a little bit of coffee. Should make me feel at home, because I like my coffee black just like my metal. There we go. Alright. Then I guess nothing important. <laughs> Let's run straight this way. Hit you with my wrench. Anyone else want a piece of my wrench? No one else? Can I use this yet? There's some machinery behind the elevator. It has power, right? But the motor doesn't seem to be working. Alright. That was me observing it because I didn't figure I could use it without heading this direction first. This is very Silent Hill-esque and I like it. It makes me feel good. Though it doesn't restrict me in the same way that Silent Hill does. Which is both good and bad. I mean, it makes it less... 
that did not hit me at all, but okay. Makes it less scary, but also makes me just be able to run around and enjoy the world, I think? I think that's a good way to put it. Well, apparently I didn't need to head that direction because it was just Agent Honor. So let's try to hit the on button. Okay. So that should have... Oh, okay, that's where it is, over there. Agent Honor. Hmm. Well, I can use the gear box. Literally just stick a box in there full of gears. And I'm sure it'll work. My question is, if the murderer is downstairs, how did he get there? Upstairs. I'm sorry. Upstairs. How did he get there? This is a pretty big elevator. It seems more like a place to fight things. There we go. Did I get hurt by that? Great. Okay. Huh? Huh? I just stuck my hand into a wall. Is that hair? Damaged red hair. Okay. This is taking much longer than I really thought it was going to. Profiling start. Tied down all sexy like. Since we haven't seen this in a while, I'm not going to stop it. happening here I'm so confused action time stop turning away from me it's mean that's it <laughs> that's really it that's what they get for fighting me really just Francis York Morgan is way too OP. Me and my freaking couch cushion looking suit. Just running around with a wrench beating everyone to death. I don't think anyone could stand a chance against me. And it turned off so I can't go back down. So the power is out so I can't head down. All right, let's save just in case any things happen. Not only that, but guys, next time on Let's Play Deadly Premonition, we're going to be trying to finish up this little profiling section. We're going to be hopefully uh, finding out who Anna's murder is. But I have a feeling like since this game is probably a little bit longer, we're either going to not find out who the murderer is, or we're going to have a hard as heck time proving slash finding the person. I say proving because... Let's be honest, if we find out it's that one guy, 
uh, who owns most of the property around here, then we're going to have a hell of a time getting people to talk about it. Oh, well. See you guys next time.